You gotta love NeoPixels. Uh, today we're going to be checking out this uh, Adafruit 5x8 uh, NeoPixel matrix. So if you've ever wondered how these work and how the sketches work and all that, um, you know, stay tuned because we're going to go over it right now. got the headers um, now installed here. There's little um, extensions here as well um, that they gave so I'm utilizing that. Another little bag of additional ones too um, which I didn't really need. I'm just needing it to install for the hat. Um, so that worked out um, well. I'm gonna marry it up to this Arduino Uno. Make sure I get my pins all lined while still looking at the video enough that's the hard part okay it looks like it's pretty well aligned that side's together that side is together nice firm push okay everything connected there no pins out okay and there we have it um, the Adafruit uh, 5x8 NeoPixel hat or shield actually on this Arduino Uno. So let's take it from there and see how it works. And here we are with the Adafruit NeoPixel example for a single NeoPixel shield. Uh, that is exactly what I have. I have a uh, smaller 5x8 matrix version. I make larger ones which um, have a little more spectacular display. Um, but um, essentially we're going to be using this one to test things out. And um, I believe I, yeah, I don't think I have any, oh yeah, I did um, change the Adafruit uh, NeoPixel matrix. Um, I did have to add the five um, by eight grid to this. It had a larger one before, probably for larger matrices but um, yeah that's um, that's essentially the only major change I made to that so I'm going to go ahead and upload that to the Arduino hopefully I've got a little more stable USB connection looks like I'm not getting any errors so that is the case all right and it is running so let's take a look well okay nope sorry still uploading just make sure Okay, now we're done. We're done uploading um, as indicated down here. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. We have the results. Uh, we've uploaded that to this Arduino Uno, which of course has the uh, NeoPixel shield. This is the Adafruit um, 5x8 NeoPixel shield. Uh, they do have um, other ones that are wider and bigger for more spectacular uh, displays. In this case, um, this sketch is, and this one you can actually kind of make it out. It's it's printing out howdy in different colors as it scrolls past. Um, and uh, of course, if it was bigger and wider, you'd be able to see that more pronounced and actually read it. Um, th this one, you can't actually read it. So it's not bad in that respect. As you see, the uh, NeoPixels are pretty bright. I, I did turn off the lights here, um, but they're pretty bright when they do come on. So that's another um, high quality component. It does have a reset button here. So I stopped it in mid word and now it's going again. So actually uh, not a bad uh, product and that's a good sketch uh, to kind of demonstrate how you can get words scrolling past and um, uh, I just left it at howdy, but uh, you can make it whatever you want. Uh, and again, a wider one would, would be much better. So looks like a um, really good quality product from that respect. And uh, I like the sketch because uh, it's a good demonstration of how you, how you can scroll words past. So that sketch worked out pretty good. Good demonstration for the actual Adafruit um, NeoPixel 5x8 Matrix product. 
Okay, here we are in the NeoPixel tile test. Uh, this is something that is provided by Adafruit, uh, their NeoPixel example for tiled NeoPixel matrices. I did purchase one of those, of course, as we've been discussing. Um, and uh, this one uh, is uh, pretty cool. Um, you can go up to, it looks like 60 LEDs per meter flex strip uh, as well. I've got a smaller version. It's about five by I think eight. Um, so I, I've made a, a few little changes in the program for that, or the sketch for that. Uh, let's see. Yep. So these were reading different values here, and I did uh, change it to my eight by five um, pattern. Um, seemed to work really well. This is a good demonstration. Uh, sketch of um, you know the uh, functionality of, of the NeoPixel matrix. Um, it looks like if you have a longer one, you can actually. You know, this is it had hello in here before, so I just changed it to Smithbotics because that's the name of our channel. But um, you can't really read it <laughs> because uh, it's a smaller segment. There's there's longer matrices. They do have um, that would work much better. Um, but, you know, we'll go ahead and see how that looks. Um, we'll upload it to the Arduino Uno. Uh, made some changes to the uh, Neo Matrix, um, uh, you know, uh, tile test uh, sketch. Um, just I slowed the delay down to, you know, it was set, the delay was set for 100. I set it to 1000. Um, and <laughs> as you can see, uh, yeah, I switched the I switched the matrix around again. Really can't get this particular sketch to truly show you know what it's spelling out. Um, not quite sure about that. I'm sure it is user error. But yeah, it just it goes to show you, and I'll, I'll just kind of mention uh, this. I mean, this that's supposedly printing out words, but just as a display. I mean, if you wanted to have some sort of you know futuristic thing, you could you know, mess with the different words it's trying to print. The speed it's trying to print just by altering the sketch and then have something like this. Now I will point out when you're staring at this thing for a while and you say, look at the white screen of um, your computer uh, for you know, the Arduino IDE, uh, you will find you have little spots in your eyes because <laughs> this is pretty bright. So try not to stare at it too long or if you use it, put in some sort of filter. Uh, you know, this is kind of a, a ridiculously slow uh, delay, so I'll put that back to 100 on here and then just upload uh, the sketch again. But, um, and in conclusion, um, I, you know, have to tell you that um, I really like this. It's really nice product from Adafruit. Uh, they're a NeoPixel. In this case, it's a 5 by 8 matrix shield. Uh, they do have other ones, of course, that are a lot larger. Not only them, but other manufacturers. Um, but I do like the quality of uh, Adafruit. Um, it's really nicely made uh, shield. Uh, I, don't, I don't mind a little space here. It kind of gives a little, um, you know, different um, perspective and it gives you a little bit of separation from the board. Um, but it's uh, really nice. Uh, the LEDs are, as you can see, quite bright and um, I think the, uh, the shield is very well made. Um, I certainly can get more into the sketches and figure out um, how to uh, utilize um, the uh, sketches and the code so that I can make um, whatever I might want to with this uh, for display purposes on my project. So uh, I'll have to give it a thumbs up and I hope you will give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate the content. Uh, it does encourage us um, on YouTube to really create more of this and really helps us uh, in, the, in the long run. So um, if you did like the video, please do that. And subscribe is always welcome. Um, and we'll get more videos out with different products that we try. And hopefully that will be of help to you. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. And take care.